All right, we focus primarily on the lower body with the stride and the drive and the rotation and all those good stuff. And now we're going to move up into the upper part of the body with the wrist snap and the arm circle and shoulders and what exactly those are doing. But what we're going to start with first is wrist snap. And there's a lot of controversy out there between a lot of different coaches. Some put a lot more importance on it than others and spend a lot of time focusing on it. A lot of pitching coaches will even start backwards in teaching a pitch, saying starting from the wrist snap and work all the way back through, backwards through the pitch, which is just fine. But what I'm going to show you is exactly how the ball should leave your hand, what you should be feeling for the, the ideal wrist snap. I tend to believe with a wrist snap, the most important part of that is be able to get a correct wrist snap in the beginning so that you can move on into advanced pitches such as a rise ball and a drop ball. I don't necessarily spend as much time with it just getting the pitcher to know what it naturally feels like and what it should do. First drill we're going to start with is the basketball uh, roll or the big ball roll. We normally call it the big ball because I don't want to limit you to thinking you just have to use a basketball. You can use a soccer ball, a volleyball, anything that's round and bigger than what a softball is. And if you've ever played basketball, and most of your younger pitchers have probably played both or are still playing both, it gives them a good correlation to see the relation between the two and then you can take them that next step farther with that wrist snap and show them what they have to do different with a softball wrist snap as opposed to a basketball shot. All I do is just have my girls stand with it in their hands. There's absolutely no grip. I'm not trying to get them to grip it like a softball. Just put that ball in their hands and just shoot it to where it rolls off and they can see their wrist snap. Let the ball bounce. Don't worry about catching that. What's important is to watch the wrist snap. And you'll hear a lot of basketball coaches see the wrist hang to watch it do it. That's the same thing we're doing right here just so we can do it. Make sure when your players are doing this that as they do it that they actually feel the ball rolling off their fingertips. It should not be a push. You want that ball to stay in those fingertips as long as possible. So once again, they can do it just standing up. Another good way to do it, you can have a girl lay down and just have her shoot right over her head. And basketball coaches will love this, uh, athletes that are doing both sports because it will help both sports.